the 2K Sports pregame show. Boy, what a season so far. And I'll tell you, it's only getting started. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, it'll be the Brooklyn Nets going up against the Golden State Warriors. And for Golden State, I know it's early. But what you like about this team and these players, they've already established an identity. People have accepted their roles. They understand exactly what they're trying to achieve night in and night out. And one of my favorite guys to watch, Draymond Green. Mm. He, he's so unique, Kenny. Uh, what do you most like about this game? His intensity, his versatility, and his passion. The love for the game. And he can defend pretty much every position on the basketball court. You know, for an undersized big man, I love his passion. Won't score a ton of points, but the offense flows better when he's on the court. Let's send it down now to Kevin Harlan as we approach tip-off. We have an interconference affair lined up for you today as the Golden State Warriors come in for this one. And here it comes, the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. The Nets will look to their home court advantage just one game here in Brooklyn. Well, it's been an improvement this year over last season. They made a lot of adjustments and happy to see that they translate into some tangible results. And right now for Brooklyn, they've had their chances to kind of separate themselves from the pack this season, but so far, they haven't been able to capitalize on those opportunities. So yeah, every, every time it looks like they're ready to make a step forward, something goes wrong. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge on, on the sideline. David? Hey there, Kevin. Well, we all know that Steve Kerr, the Warriors coach, has a great way with his players. He said they see through all the BS. Hey, they've got to know that you're in charge and know what you're talking about. But in the end, it's about them. Kevin? You know what? That humble approach goes a long way, David. Thank you. And boy, Chris, how much fun is it to have basketball back? Talk about some of the things you personally look for early in a season. Oh, man. What I personally look for in the beginning of the season uh, is how guys develop. And a lot of that is body language. You know, are you putting your head down and dropping your head after a shot? Hmm. Are you not running back on defense after a turnover? These are all little things that show what you're thinking about. You know, I, I just kind of check out the development, but again, the body language is the guy playing hard through his frustration. Is the guy giving his coach eye contact in the huddle? Is he being a great teammate by encouraging guys? I'm passing to an open player for a better shot. And so those are the things that I look at. And then again, with the pace being at an all-time high, I think now is a new golden era of basketball where you can have so much more fun because you are no longer held to rules of not getting out at the shot clock, not getting on the fast break. Coaches are now encouraging this style, so the game to me is a lot more fun. So hopefully as a rookie, you come in and you embrace this and just let it fly. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. They've got Draymond Green. Curry is out there with D'Angelo Russell. Then it's Willie Cauley-Stein, and it's Thompson in at the three spot. And it's all about the release when you shoot the float. Here's Russell. Count it from 12. And just a good feel for everything around him. The mid-range area, comfortable spot for Russell. Irving against Curry. The shot, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Russell with a wide open look. And another three for Golden State. Executing the plan here early. Still haven't missed a shot. Irving kicks to Williams. Little over minute 30 into this first quarter. Passes it to Jordan. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And the shooting percentage Jordan records from here is insane. If you get him the ball in a good spot, he usually finishes. Now, here is Russell. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against the Knicks in New York. And there really was a physical aspect of his performance that was off the charts. He was taking it right at him, and he just kept getting those calls and getting to the line. Now Durant. 
After the miss three from Stephen Kerr. Durant dishes to Jordan. Outside for Durant. Five on the clock. Over Green. Great D that time from Green. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Well, not all defenses are constructed to protect the mid-range area. Nicely done that time. Yeah, Clay Thompson, such a perfect fit on the Warriors. A, a versatile defender, can score playing off the ball, and just plays the game the right way. Now here's Williams. An 11-point game for him in the win against the Pelicans in New Orleans. And, and he had two blocks also, don't forget. I mean, it tells you what kind of presence he was for him at both ends of the field. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. Some changes for Brooklyn. Allen comes in for Williams. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Lavert. Spencer Dinwiddie. Warriors leading by six. Russell trying to free himself up. And Coley Stein with the basket on the assist by Curry. And is there any doubt Klay Thompson could go to another team and average 30 points a game as the main offensive weapon? Yeah, but you know, he's not an intention seeker. And that's just not his personality. He knows it's more fun to play for a winner. Here's Allen. After the basket by Willie Cauley-Stein. Here's Durant. The 15-footer. Good. And you like the way Durant sizes up what is available in the pick and roll. Saw that he had the space and he finished it off. Curry kicks to Cauley-Stein. He's looking for Russell and finds him. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. And so it's Irving. He time brings out, it up for out. Brooklyn. Trailing here by eight. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. Yeah, interconference matchup. Two, two teams that'll see each other only twice on the schedule. And that makes it interesting. They don't know each other all that well. So we should see a lot of in-game adjustments. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. And typically on the road, it's harder to get into a great rhythm offensively. But they did just that. Well, extremely accurate throughout the evening, I thought. The play call, they really fit the lineups they were rolling out. Now first the dip set split up, then the Celia Banks leave Twitter, and now you hating no nickel. I just been the same stand up since the day I came in this game, and I just come in here to stay till I'm crippled. I'm a combination of Kane, Kane, G Rap, Reggie Noble, and James. Who still has it. Prince has checked in for Brooklyn. Harris comes in for Irving. Then for the Warriors, Looney's checked in for Willie Cauley Stein. Yurebko comes in for Green, and it's Livingston in for Curry. <laughs> Couldn't run the inbound play any better than right there. Here's Russell after Torian Prince's bucket. Russell kicks to Livingston. Russell feeling it out a bit. The pass to Yurepko. Some nice passing by Golden State. 18 feet out, and it's Golden State with another. Yeah, uh, you know. Coach Steve Kerr may seem to have a laid-back demeanor, but knowing him personally, I'll tell you what, he's fiery. Uh, he's intense and he wants to win. Uh, the tempers flare. Don't be surprised to see him smashing clipboards and letting loose on the sideline. And the shot is good. Look, that, that's what's crazy about this guy. Inside, deep from three, still, he's deadly for mid-range. Durant is as good as anyone from that part of the court. Livingston kicks to Russell. 14 feet away. Brooklyn with the rebound. Well, that's giving him too much space from mid-range. It doesn't hurt him there. But they can't keep doing that. Durant got it. Good job in the low post. Durant's got six. There's 57 seconds left to play here in the first. Russell against Harris. Back to Russell. Kicks it to Yurepko. On the wing, Thompson. Over Prince. Falls back and drains the fadeaway jumper. Thompson's got his second bucket of the game to go. Nets trail by six. Outside Durant. 
24 seconds left here in the first quarter. The feed to Allen. Kicks it out to Prince. Pass to Durant. Another shot. And that one goes long. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Well, I like the decision making, though. I mean, that's a shot you want to keep taking. Never losing focus. Even after contact, Russell Jonas sends it home. D'Angelo Russell getting it done for the Golden State Warriors. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And we'll be back with you shortly. the great Golden State Warrior scores. Draymond Green spoke about feeding the hot hand. I think there are times where one of the guys need to take more shots and sometimes where we can be a little bit too unselfish. You know, if one guy thinks, hey man, I'm taking too many shots, let me get someone else involved. But if you got it going, we all want you to shoot. Yeah, why not? Green knows that, Greg, if, if you're in the zone, keep firing. And with his unselfishness and vision, Green, more often than not, is the one setting the table. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And taking a look at the Warriors' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, already in the first period, they found ways to get this offense ramped up. Well, yeah, small lead so far, but it's building fast. And they better watch out. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Livingston and Thompson are the guards. Jonas Yarebko out there with Looney. And it's Noah in at the center. Well, the much vaunted defense of the Warriors took a step back last season, falling from second in the league in defensive rank to 11. But uh, it's tough to nitpick, but I'm sure it's an area they're looking at to address. And he gets it back. Now that we have a chance, let's go to the 2K leaderboard and reveal last season's top shot blockers. Fifth, Kevin Durant. And shot blocking is the element of the game that I think he cares about the most. That's where he puts in that effort and energy. No good on the free throw. Oh, well, one interesting fact about Sean people might not know is that he was named Mr. Basketball in Illinois in his high school days. That's an honor he'll always cherish. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Williams comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Lavert in for Torian Prince. Curry's checked in for Golden State. Good on the second free throw. And we've played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Dinwiddie passes to Allen. Out to the right wing. Here's Levert. He's covered by Livingston. Four on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. Harris outside. Pass to Dinwiddie. Here's Levert. He's covered by Livingston. The putback. It's good on the putback. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Warriors leading by five. Outside Curry. Over in the corner, Livingston. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. And the Warriors lead by seven. Chris, you and I love guys with a great handle. Uh, and they can finish with either hand. And I know you've got a couple guys who you think do it better than most. Kyrie Irving. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> He's exactly. He's one of the best finishers that I've seen. Oh, my goodness. The way he can 
finger roll you with this left hand and, and, and throw it up so high that rain will come down with it and, <laughs> and finishing off of both legs. You have to look at a guy like Harden as well, the way he finishes. How about LeBron James? As strong as he is, it seems like he just kind of gives you a shoulder with either shoulder, bumps and weights, and then lays it up nice too. I mean, you have so many players. And Curry, he's another guy that, that does it so well. I keep going on and on but with those guys. Don't forget about Mike Conley. He's ambidextrous. He might just shoot a jump shot uh, with either hand. So you got to be careful when guarding these guys. Great finishers. Now. Good names you've mentioned. Here's Thompson time out, time out. after the basket by Brooklyn. And the Warriors decide to take Guarded. their first time out here. And even though Spencer Dinwiddie had a breakout year, he felt that his time was long overdue. Yeah, and the college, his bench, he's had to overcome a lot and has always believed in himself. And he feels when matched up head-to-head -head with most guards, he's going to come out on top. Showed exactly why he believes in himself so much with that breakout season in 2018. I so for the Nets, DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Allen. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Harris. Carly Stein, he's checked in for Golden State. Green comes in for Looney. Now here's Carly Stein. Ball's knocked loose. Now here's Livingston. He's covered by Irving. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. With the floater, count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to just three in the basket from Dinwiddie. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Holly Stein at the elbow, and Holly Stein throws it down. I mean, if you're Curry's teammate, this is what you have to do. Take advantage of the defender reacting to him. I mean, he'll find you if you're open. Irving finds Williams. Passes to Levert. Outside Irving. Two minutes. Shoots over Curry. Again, the Nets for two. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. 14 feet away. Good D by Irving. The defense recognizing the situation and getting right in his face once he got close to the bucket. Stolen by Thompson. Here's Green. And that one is off. The Nets go the other way with it. Following this game, they hit the road. They'll take on the Knicks in New York. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. We've got 118 left in the second quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. Dinwiddie's shot is off. He gets some extra attention from the D on that trip, and it throws the shot off. Livingston, no luck. I mean, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots off. Dinwiddie's shot is off. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. It's a three-point game. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game played. And they couldn't get stops when they needed to. The opposition just too comfortable shooting the basketball. And that's what can happen on the road. You have to be aggressive and try to disrupt them out of their normal routine. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Brooklyn shooting their first free throw of the game. And last season, 77% from the line. They could usually get the job done there. Looking at who's out there now for the One Nets. Shot, gentlemen. Kevin Durant's checked in for Allen Williams. And it's Prince in for Lavert. Golden State also making some changes. Yurebko's checked in for Clay Thompson. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Sean Livingston. Forty-one seconds left now here in the second. Curry on the wing. 
over Irving. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Curry's got five now. Oh, Kevin, that type of D, uh, that's not going to get it done. I mean, he can't be giving up those kinds of shots. Nobody near Irving. A three-pointer is right on target. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Irving against Curry. From past the arc, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. Look, I appreciate the effort from Irving. You like seeing him get a hand up in time to contest shots. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Warriors ahead, leading by just one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball uh, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting and our spacing and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, it's good to have you back. You're watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. This right here is Kenny the Jet Smith. This right here is Shaquille O'Neal. Me, I'm just Ernie. So it's Golden State who's out on top at the half. They lead by one point. Kenny, what's your take? Well, it's always a little bit of a challenge playing on the road, but they came in mentally prepared and physically prepared. The energy in the arena was fierce, but they didn't cave in. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Nets. Well, I'll tell you what I saw in the first half, Ernie. Three things. Soft defense, not enough pressure, but they can still win this game. They need to ramp it up. Was that two or three? Doesn't matter. You understand, Ernie. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. The Brooklyn Museum, just one of the many places to visit here in this famous borough of New York City. Welcome back, folks. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You look at D'Angelo Russell. What a contribution. His points production thus far off the charts. It's only been two quarters. Just a great effort for him for the entire half. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, the defense hasn't had an answer for this guy yet. Just too skilled, too driven thus far. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Far. Brooklyn trailing. We've got Durant, Lavert out there with Kyrie Irving. Then it's Williams. And it's Jordan in at the five. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Now here is Irving. Durant attacking for the lead. And they pick up two. Durant's got the first basket of the second half. That one for Brooklyn. Durant does such a good job of getting high percentage offensive plays. I mean, you, you can see that over the years. Now Curry, down low, and stolen by Jordan. The pass to Durant from 11 feet away. Tries again. Williams, the shot misses. Curry with the defensive effort. Thompson, left side. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. That's seven points for Clay Thompson. And the quick trigger on full display. Thompson needs only a little breathing room to fire. Well, Draymond Green, the Warriors assist leader. Top ten in dimes. I mean, league-wide last season. When I mean, you think about it, his playmaking ability at the power four position, it's unique. Now here's Curry. Following the miss by DeAndre Jordan. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And another three for Golden State. Uh, the green light doesn't get any brighter than it is for Thompson. I mean, when the three is there for him, he'll take it. Williams scanning the floor. 
He kicks it to Durant. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And over the past three seasons, Green averaging over seven assists a game. The only big man who's averaged more over a course of a season, Wilt Chamberlain. Oh, wow. Well, uh, Coach Kerr, a consultant with that Suns team, uh, gave Draymond a video uh, of Boris Diaw. Boris Diaw averaged six assists a game in Phoenix. Well, Green took that, and, and, and with the shooters that he has, uh, MVP shooters and the players that he's had, uh, he's taken that to a different level. Look, it hasn't happened yet, but he's got time to find his rhythm, and if he does, they can turn this thing around quick. And it's Russell missing. Nets trail by three. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Here's Durant. That's all good, and that's his fifth time basket out, of the out. game. He's shooting five for 11 now. Uh, not everything in the game has an answer, and sometimes all you can do is just tip your cap to Durant when he hits his jumper. Timeout called the Warriors. NBA offenses have always been complex, and they always are evolving, but C-Web, the movement and precision now seems to be at another level. Uh, would you agree? You know what, Kev, I disagree a little bit with that. Mm. You know, having played in different teams with some complex offenses, it's still all the basics. You still have the old flex offense, and that's nothing but what Utah, Carl Malone, and John Stockton used some 20 years ago. You still have triangle principles, which is what Jordan and Pippen used some 20, 25 years ago. And if you really want to go back to the Bob Cousy days when he played with Bill Russell, you still have a lot of throwing it into the post and cutting off of it. I think the players have evolved and the player skill sets are better. But as far as offensive sets, I don't see that much has changed except how do you execute them and can you execute them with having the right position players with the correct skill set on the floor at the time that you call the play. I love your honest appraisal. Some changes for Brooklyn. Allen comes in for Allen Williams. And Harris subbed in for Lavert. And then for Golden State, Noah comes in for Cauley Stein. And it's Kevon Looney in for Draymond Green. Now here's Curry. Five points in the game. Green for two points. Curry's got his third basket of the night. I like seeing that kind of sharp passing. Thompson making sure they get the best shot possible. Irving kicks to Durant. Shot from 12. Another one falls for Brooklyn. Golden State's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Noah dishes to Thompson. Russell against Harris. Russell passes to Thompson. Fires from the line. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got three assists now in this one. Well, he's reason number one there in front. I mean, his shooting has been almost flawless. Irving with it, and Curry picks him up defensively. Here's Durant. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Uh, when KD gets it in that close to the rim, you're, you're out of good option. He's so good. I mean, sometimes you just give him the foul. You just give the foul. They're not shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Two shots. And the first one drops. Uh, and the winning mentality of Durant, I mean, he can take over games. He, he puts the team on his back. Prince has checked in for the Nets. The Warriors also with a sub. Yurebko's checked in. Durant hits them both. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throws. Irving against Curry. Kicks to Eurepto. And another three for Golden State. And defensively, you have got to extend to their shooters. They have been on fire this half. Yeah, they've been tremendous from beyond the arc. It's a shift from what they did in the first two quarters, though. Now here's Durant. He's got 14. 
the rebound by Noah. Warriors leading by four. Outside Curry. Pass to Noah. From deep. Another three for Golden State. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been tripled. And it's Harris with the ball for Brooklyn. Pass to Irving. Shoots over Curry. Irving. Good. Irving's got seven points. The ability to work angles and, and convert with either hand. I mean, Irving with the beautiful move there. Passes it to Russell. Looney kicks to Yarebko. Another three for Golden State. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Nets trail by eight. There's 45 seconds left in the third. Prince up top, defended by Jarebko. And it's Allen with the jam. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. A 78% foul shooter a season ago. Pretty steady when he's at the line. Spencer Dinwiddie's checked in for Durant. Warriors leading by five. And two for one. That's what they'd like to get right now. Yeah, this could come down to the correct play call. Let, let's see what they do right here. Curry outside. Knocks down the three ball. Curry's got five points in the quarter. You know what? The area code just doesn't matter with this guy. Steph, Steph just dropping bombs. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. And here is Irving. He has seven. Shot clock at six. From deep three-point range, he can't get that one to fall. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? Warriors lead by eight. And now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. Great start, fellas. Play, you're cutting, it's awesome. Your movement without the ball is brilliant. Great stuff. Good to hear that complimenting the motion. Steve Kerr likes this offense and how it's running right now. And when the players and the ball never seem to stop, it really prevents a defense from getting set and digging in. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, they've got Curry. Willie Cauley-Stein is out there with Green. And there's your Repco. And it's Russell in a shooting guard. Back to Prince. And the three off target. Warriors leading by eight. Feeds to Cauley-Stein. And there's the whistle. Three-second three violation. Violation. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up. On Monday, they'll go up against the Bulls in Chicago. Then on Wednesday, they'll be facing Drew Holiday and the New Orleans Pelicans. And for the matchup with the Grizzlies, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. Williams dishes to Prince, and D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Brooklyn making some changes. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Allen. And it's Lavert in for Irving. And Golden State also making a change. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Yurebko. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. And how about the vertical of Jordan easily rising up for the timely alley-oop slam. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hover Havoc. Russell finds Curry. No good with the triple. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Dinwiddie is surveying the floor. Prince outside. 
Williams passes to Levert. Just five to shoot over Russell. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down to just four points for the bucket from Levert. And if you came to see offense, folks, then you are getting your money's worth. Yeah, and if you came to see defense, folks, you're getting robbed. Both teams sloppy on that end of the floor. With some arc, and Russell with the lay-in. And the Warriors lead by six. And, you know, we talk about feel and reading the situation. Russell gets an opening there and does not flinch. Now the pass to Levert. Pass to Prince. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Green. He kicks to Curry. Krills it from outside. Timeout, timeout. And it's a nine-point Warrior lead. An elite scorer in this league. Curry is so active. How he looks for his shots. He's, he's as versatile as they come. Timeout called. The Nets. Raymond Green at 6'7". Seen as undersized coming out of Michigan State. But his 7'1 wingspan goes a long way. Yeah, it goes a long way along with working out and, and, and working hard as he does. I mean, he's averaged over a block a game for his career. You know, combined with his low center of gravity, it enables him to defend much bigger players, but also get on the wing and defend some guards. Why you checking off racks on that? I'm tucking money in the safe for my kid. The Nets making a switch here. Durant's checked in. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Kevin, during that last break, I heard Kenny Atkinson talking with his team. He is not pleased, and he told them they have to make a push right now. He said, look, we got to make a move or I've got to pull the plug. Pretty blunt stuff, Kevin. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. Lock at six. Pulls up. High post. And good. He nails it. He's playing MVP ball. Durant with some serious pep in his step tonight. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, yeah, he might have seen something he wants to exploit. Well, we'll see what they run coming out of this. Hey, get your numbers up. I had to get my numbers up. Now I got it like they gave it to me. But I took it, they ain't give it to me. She really do, she really do it to me. God do it for me. Yeah, it really fit. It's a shoe for me. Uh. I started hooping for the Nike check. Yeah. I play tennis for the Rolex. Collie Stein over Jordan and Collie Stein with the basket on the assist by Green. Green's got three assists in the game. Dinwiddie kicks to Williams. He dishes it to Durant. Here's Lavert. He's guarded by Russell. Here's Jordan. Green with the block. And what Green lacks in height, he makes up for in heart. He's such an outstanding shot run. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Kevin Durant. Now here's Curry. Defense is right there. From deep. 
It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. And how about the consistency from range tonight? Really impressive. And that's because he's finding his spots. No hesitation. You can sense his confidence. Outside Jordan. Two minutes. Pass to Levert. Back to Jordan. The Nets need to get a shot off here. The offensive rebound. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. One thing never changes in the NBA. Jordan will always be there among the top offensive rebounders in the league. Curry looking around. They kick it out to Green. On the wing, Thompson. And a deep three from Curry. And the lead now, double digits on that bucket. Curry's got 14 points now in the second half. Oh, that's a drop in the bucket for Mr. Curry. One of the softest three-point shots you'll ever see. Here's Durant. Goes to the fadeaway and ends it. He must have a real good feel for the fadeaway. I mean, he uses it even when no one's on him. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. And out of bounds as the Nets gain possession. Irving's checked in for the Nets. One oh six left in the fourth quarter. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Good on the bucket. And just great offensive execution by both sides, leaving nothing on the table. Well, yeah, you want to save your best for last. The guys on these teams know that. Pope loose. Curry against Irving. Curry finds Russell. Just five on the clock. Puts it up from 12. It's hauled in by DeAndre Jordan. It's the Nets now. They trail by six. Here's Levert. It falls! Harris. And now they trail by just four. And this has been a clinic on what not to do defensively. Just atrocious. And it's been the same on both sides. Guys getting wide open looks all day. Here's Golden State now. And so they foul intentionally. Andre Jordan. That's his first first foul. Shooting from Golden State. Stephen Curry. Two shots. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. I expect to see Bigfoot outside the building if Curry misses one or two free throws in the game. That's how good he is at the line. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. A good league is even better with excellent work at the strike. Timeout called the Nets. They're trailing by six. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. We've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Stephen Curry. Plain and simple, his scoring is what made him our pick tonight. Even when the D's given him all their attention, 
They just have not been able to contain him. If they backed off him for one second, he made them pay. There's 25 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. They trail by six. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the fourth. There's 25 seconds left in the game. Poked away. It's stolen by Green. And he commits the intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. At the line for the Warriors, Draymond Green taking two shots. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. I mean, for Draymond, defense is still his calling card. The versatility to switch one through five, contain, get back, communicate, be in a position to help, he does it all. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. And really nothing they can do now. They just got to play this one out. Yeah, you know you're supposed to go hard and complete the game, but they're so frustrated right now. I don't see that happening. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Now here's Livingston. So we see the Warriors get the win here. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks a lot. Steph, what was the key that had your offense going so well tonight? Obviously, guys have to make shots, and when we're creating and moving our bodies and the ball's moving, we're not turning it over. You know, we're tough to guard, and, and everybody had confidence tonight to go out there and make plays, so um, that's contagious, and we got to find that tomorrow, you know, next game if we want to keep this going. Obviously, the way you guys want to play, Steph. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.